Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the third and final vlog of our Lake Tahoe ski series. There are three Vail owned resorts around Lake Tahoe, Heavenly, North Star, and Kirkwood. I covered Heavenly and North Star in my last two ski vlogs, so this one is all about Kirkwood. If you have the Epic Pass and plan to visit all three ski resorts on the same trip, I recommend staying in South Lake Tahoe. That way you have easy access to Heavenly, which is arguably the most popular, and are an hour's drive away from both North Star and Kirkwood. Kirkwood is south of Lake Tahoe, away from all the hustle and bustle. It's probably the least visited of the three mountains, as it's a bit more rugged and remote. Kirkwood has more extreme terrain and definitely feels more like a local's mountain. Each day that I went to Kirkwood, I would get up pretty early because the drive south takes about an hour. It goes through Nevada though, so I really liked the change in landscape. I thought it was so scenic. The clouds, the desert, I usually stop to say hi to the cows on the way back, and yeah, really pretty. When you pull up to Kirkwood, there are two main base areas. Timber Creek is the first parking lot when you arrive. This is the beginner area where the ski and ride school is, and as usual, I took lessons, so I would meet my instructor here in the mornings. The second base area is called Mountain Village, and that's the main area that has access to the intermediate and advanced terrain. If you already know how to ski and just want to get right to the good stuff, then I would park here. Kirkwood isn't a ritzy mountain by any means. There aren't any views of Lake Tahoe, and some of the lift infrastructure is slightly dated, but I thought the terrain here was really unique. It's the main draw. The mountain has a lot of unique, really scenic landscapes, and also more extreme terrain if that's your kind of skiing. The way the mountain is set up, there's a front side and a back side. Front side is a bit easier, the back side is home to all the really challenging terrain, and each ski lift was numbered as opposed to using names. So as you move from east to west, it's really easy to kind of always know where you are and to coordinate meeting people. Um, so I kind of really liked that. It made it much easier to navigate the mountain on the first day, and it reminded me of a lot of New York City's grid system. Kirkwood is actually the first mountain that I skied when I got to Tahoe, so I started off easy on the greens and then gradually moved west towards the blues. Chair 10 is one of the most popular and well-known lifts um, because it takes you to the top of the mountain and that's where you'll find the expert runs like Eagle Bowl and The Wall. Kirkwood is probably most known for its bowls and shoots and some of the terrain here definitely gets pretty intense. There's a lot of shoots, drop-ins, free falls. They also have two terrain parks, um, but I didn't get the chance to try them out on this trip. Overall, I do think you miss out if you don't ride down the backside of the mountain. I was a little too green for it on my trip, but it's definitely a place I want to come back to in the future. And so I'd recommend Kirkwood if you like extreme terrain. It's okay for intermediates as well, but I probably wouldn't recommend it for beginners just because I don't feel like you get the most bang for your buck. Um, you're just kind of limited in what you can ski. I did really like how low key the mountain felt. I just have to come back when I'm a bit better. And finally, I'll leave you with one last Tahoe recommendation. I covered a lot of restaurants, bars, and nightlife in my last two videos, so check those out if you want more recommendations. Um, but the one I'll leave you with is called The Idle Hour. It's a wine bar with a really great view of South Lake Tahoe. I recommend going a little bit before sunset to snag a seat, and you can try a wine flight or two, have some snacks. The wine bar looks really unassuming from the front, kind of like a regular strip mall by the highway, uh, but then out back they have this huge open view of the lake and it's a beautiful place to watch the sunset and kind of close out your ski trip. And so yeah, that's it for my Tahoe ski series. I definitely want to make it back out to the west coast for more skiing. Let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.